What's up, folks? My name is Jay Narvankar. My TechnoSurf project took place in the San Martin region of Peru, based in a small town in the Peruvian Amazon called Terrapoto. Prior to signing on as a TechnoSurf fellow, I worked in management consulting for Deloitte. In the years since my project, I've worked in corporate strategy for Kraft Foods, got my MBA from Kellogg Northwestern, and I currently lead business operations at Volta, which runs a nationwide network of public charging stations for electric vehicles. I chose to apply to the Fellows Program because it seemed like the ideal way to fulfill my dream of getting to live and work abroad. Most importantly, in a way that I could use the professional skills I had developed as a consultant. I was also particularly keen on working in a Spanish-speaking country since I had spent years studying the language. My project was a real chance to do good work and to do so in a hands-on, tangible way, getting to know so many great people, the other fellows on my project, the in-country TechnoSurf staff, local farmers and entrepreneurs, and people in the community. Our work helped farmers get better crop prices from selling cooperatively and obtaining organic certification, as well as more stability from connecting them with businesses around the region who could use their product so that they weren't wholly dependent on volatile export prices. For example, I specifically worked with several independent chocolatiers, many of whom were women-run, to source local ingredients, figure out pricing, packaging, and other marketing decisions, and negotiate with stores to carry their products. One of the highlights was meeting the then First Lady of Peru at an exhibition and hearing her compliment one of my client's chocolates. If you are thinking about doing a TechnoSurf Fellowship, my piece of advice is just do it. Uh, this kind of opportunity is so rare, so unique, uh, the chance to do meaningful, impactful work that makes a difference in people's lives. Even if you're not committed to a long-term career in the NGO world or in international development, uh, the kinds of stories, the kinds of experiences that you have here uh, will be, you know, so it's something that'll come up in interviews in corporate settings for years after the fact, and that's certainly been my case. More importantly, on a personal level, uh, just being so deeply immersed in another culture, uh, in another language, you know, being far from home, provides such a invaluable perspective uh, that I think will really just help shape the, the way you view the world uh, for the rest of your life. And, and that's just a fantastic thing. I think we need more of it.